Every single human being has a guardian angel. Um, I'm traveling around the world now and I'm seeing more and more people. Um, I've never, never in my life seen, I'm even looking around here, I have never in my life seen anybody without a guardian angel. And that's very important for everyone to remember. It doesn't matter what religion you are or what nationality, or even whether you're good or bad. God has given you a guardian angel as a gift, and your guardian angel never leaves you for one second. And you're their number one, remember. They do look after you. There's only one little problem. We don't always listen, and we have that free choice whether we listen or not. And I always just say to people, maybe just try and listen. They're great teachers. How do you actually see them? What do they look like? Um, I see angels as, phys as physically as I'm seeing you sitting here and everybody sitting out there as well. Um, angels are beautiful. Um, only for they give a human appearance within themselves. I wouldn't actually be able to describe them. And I have to smile. Most of the time, they are very big. Either very tall and slender. What is big? Big. Um, sometimes, if a guardian angel opens up that light behind somebody, um, how can I describe? Just, just let's say the guardian angel would hit the roof. Ooh. You know, in in yeah. that in that way. And just when, say, I'm out on the street, and you know, people are walking up and down, I would see separate from the guardian angel, but other angels, mm -hmm. what I call the unemployed angels. Unemployed. Unemployed. <laughs> they're looking for your attention, and they're doing everything to get your attention and to help you. And they too are tall and mm -hmm. slender, and sometimes they are kind of broad. You know, sometimes it's quite hard to, to, to explain. And when I see wings, I feel very privileged because the angels don't allow me to see the wings all of the time. And you know the way through, like, is it history? Um, we were always told angels' wings are made of feathers. Well, when I see feathers, I feel very privileged because um, the wings are absolutely enormous. But sometimes I don't. And they're not like birds' wings, by the way. You know, in that, no, no. Um, sometimes they are very slender, very long, pointed. And the way I try to explain is like, you know, maybe like silk, you know, so fine. It's, it's like, um, you know, the air here around us. If you could cut the air with a slice, it's so, f you know, finer than a hair.